Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about solutions, suspensions, and emotions. Now, if you are still in school, you will find this in your Milady textbook on page 261. Thank you guys so much for your support. God bless you. And let's get started. All right, all right. Let's get the party started. Chemistry, solutions, suspensions, and emotions by me, Ms. Vonnie. And this is coming from chapter 12 of your Milady textbook, page 261. Solutions. A stable physical mixture of two or more substances in a solvent. Water is known as the universal solvent because it dissolves more substances than any others that we use. Alcohol and water would be an example of a solution that is miscible. Solute and solvent. So a solute is what is being dissolved. The example of that would be nail tips, acrylics, gel nail polish, even nail polish for that matter uh, silk wraps fiberglass wraps all those things are examples of something that is being dissolved and it would be called a solute now a solvent is what is doing the dissolving and that's why water is considered a universal solvent because it's doing the dissolving so the example that i would use when we're doing artificial nail enhancements would be acetone, which dissolves silk wraps, nail tips, acrylics, etc., etc. Miscible and immiscible. So one way that you could remember these two terms by is mixable and non-mixable. So whenever something says that is miscible, that means that it blends in. If it's a solution, so I could think of sugar and water, sugar in your coffee, even the way it just mixes in. Um, and then immiscible, the example for that would be salad dressing. I think of Italian, how the seasoning and the herbs separate. And then there's like an oil in there and it never blends in until you shake it. But once you sit it down, it separates again. Miscible means liquids that are mutually soluble and can be mixed together to form a clear solution. Examples, alcohol and water, and we're talking rubbing alcohol, not drinking alcohol, although it would blend in with the water and not separate like oil and water would. Immiscible means liquids that are unable to be mixed together to make a stable solution. So again, the example I use is oil and water. And um, the example I gave, yeah, was oil and water. So these unstable mixtures are called suspensions. Suspensions and emulsions. Suspensions are unstable physical mixtures of undissolved particles in a liquid. Compared with solutions, suspensions contain larger and fewer miscible particles. So it means that it contains less mixable particles. So the example I gave on here was glitter nail polish. Uh, and then also, like I said, salad dressing, like the Italian dressing or any vinaigrette that may have some oil and uh, herbs and things in it that when you leave it, it kind of settles to the bottom. In other words, it doesn't stay mixed in there. Now, emulsions are an unstable mixture of two or more immiscible substances. And remember, that means non-mixable substances that normally will not stay blended. So that's your oil and water, right? And you can think of some shampoos that have oil in the water, like a moisturizing shampoo. But now what happens is there's a special ingredient in there called an emulsifier. And this is the ingredient that will keep the two substances together. We also used to call that a binder. So there's an ingredient in that oil and water 
that's gonna think of your arms being stretched out and one side is stretched out to the water one side is stretched out to the oil and that is keeping that oil and water from separating so that would be your emulsifier example would be hand lotion and if it's stored properly it can be stable for up to three years meaning when you put your lotion up in the cabinet when you take it out the next day or whenever you use it, it's not going to be separated to where you see the water and uh, oil or the moisturizers that's being used to make that lotion moisturizing for your skin separated. It stays together as one uh, lotion material, which would be the suspension. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much. And I'll see you soon.